Jackie Leeson. I'm here with a huge haul, so get ready, get some popcorn, because it's going to be a very long video. If you would like to know what I got, stay tuned. Let's start off with a little bit of literature. <laughs> this book is called The Vogue Collections for the Spring Season of 2013. I got this book over a couple of weeks ago and it is a little bit expensive in my opinion but I get over a thousand pictures on here. It's absolutely amazing. It says um, The Vogue Paris Collection Spring Summer 2013. 190 designers, 2,000 looks, and 1,400 accessories. And it is like giving me everything and more. I'm so excited. I'm just going to go through and pull some pictures that I absolutely love. I wasn't really a big fan of any of the American designers in here. Um, maybe like Blue Marine but only a few nothing like you know the majors like Michael Kors or um, Ralph Lauren but get into the colors that they have the seasons like black and white everybody's trying to go with that trend and I am so excited look at that amazing 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 and I'm not gonna go through too many but it also it has like all these accessories that you know you can use for like inspirational purposes this is Max Mara and Jill Sander Hugo Boss during lunch break I went in there and I knew it was gonna be trouble because they have all kinds of fashion magazines and fashion books and I was so so overwhelmed but excited at the same time and this was $39.95 for US all the prices are on you know the spine of the book so let's get started with the fabric haul I have so much so much fabric that I have accumulated because I had a um, I had originally did a fabric haul before Christmas, but then I accidentally deleted it, and then I had to reboot my computer, and I lost all the food, all the footage, the footage. This one you guys haven't seen before. I love this. This one was on clearance, a dollar twenty-nine. It has um, like a mesh illusion to it. It's satin on one side. And then it has the tool, the mesh on the other, and it's this really nice green. I absolutely love it. I don't know how many yards I got of this one, but I want to make a dress out of it, obviously. Um, sometimes I have a hard time buying fabric without knowing what I'm going to do with it, so I have to let it marinate and sit out this for a while. while. Oh my gosh. I haven't, I don't think I mentioned this before, but I've been looking for polka dot lace. And I went to Hancock Fabric and I found it. And unfortunately, they're going out of business, so I'm going to have to go. Hopefully, they'll have it um, by the time that they close down or by the time that I go, you know? Polka dot lace. I've been looking for this for years. It is amazing. I hope my camera is giving me justice because I absolutely am adoring it and I hope that you guys adore it too. This was $9.99 a yard. I got one yard. This is not a fabric haul but this is something that I needed. I went to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And had to pick up some pencils and pens for my um, pattern making because you need a lot of pens and you need a lot of pencils but this is um, the first time that it's going to be included in my fabric haul I went to 21st Street Textile Outlet I think it's 2121 um, 
the textile outlet store they have their own light page I'll link it below if you're in the uh, Chicago area check them out um, I really like the fact that they have so much fabrics that I'm not used to seeing and I found this on the first floor which is like the basement there's three floors full of fabric um, I found this on the first floor in the basement and this is polka dot chiffon like in an aqua color or um i would just say like a very light pastel color Ugh, i got four yards of this i already got started on it i already cut into it i don't care <laughs> the only thing that i got from there because honestly it's so much fabric and on top of that you don't really know what how much everything is going to be going in there you just gotta make sure that you have money because the majority of the fabrics that are there they um don't have any tags on them so when you get to the table on the second floor which is where you come through and um you <laughs> it just frustrates me because I wish that they would have at least the price. I don't need to know the fabric content or anything like that. The first floor, technically, they have the prices and what it is, but it really frustrates me as a consumer that they do not have the price on there because I personally don't want to go to a fabric store and have the owner or whoever telling the cutters or the clerks how much the fabric is. That really pisses me off. I went in there. I had no idea of how much this fabric was going to be. I was hoping that it would be pretty cheap. The prices are reasonable depending on what you're getting. This chiffon, um, it was reasonable. When I went there and had it cut, they were like, uh, Jerry, Jerry, how much is this? He said $3.95. This someone else said $2.95. And I'm like, what the fuck? how much is it do you are you guys like making this up like i love the store i just wish that they would price their stuff it really frustrates me and no shade to the people that work there you know do your thing make your money but come on man like can i get some prices on there um next time i'll go i'll take my camera along and for you guys to see it's loads of fabric it's like fashion designer heaven but I cannot deal with the fact that I am going in there blind and not knowing how much money I'm going this one was from a couple of days ago I'm always shopping um I got some thread I this was 260 Clark's uh, uh coats can't talk coats and Clark's 260 all-purpose thread Fray check. This was uh, $4.29. This is for if you uh, have lightweight fabrics that run like crazy, like chiffon. Hello. Uh, it's called a Snapmatic binder. This is a foot for my machine. And this was $6.99 exactly buy this online and tell me how much it will be expensive plus shipping I got uh, micro sharp needles need to start uh, collecting on my needles again because um, they're starting to go dull and I need this for like using chiffons and stuff like that alright let's get to the big bag this bag is heavy <laughs> Love it. Top, middle, third layer, bottom layer, each dress or whatnot. I usually just use the patterns for like 